Hi there guys, it's me Fire Moose here, and uh, right now I'm going to do a little bit of interview series. This is going to be episode 1, and I'm going to be doing an interview with a pre-med student who just completed his MCAT. So uh, right now he's about uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, beers in, and uh, let's get this interview started. Okay, Daniel, I want to ask you some questions that most people have about pre-med students, so okay. are you ready? Okay. I am ready. Cool. Okay. First question. How did you study for your MCATs? So, for the MCATs, since there's only four sections, and there are really, really lots of, there's lots of shit in them, as you would imagine, um, you have to study a lot for it. So, I, myself, spent about eight months prior to the exam getting all this crap in my head from, you know, what does a cell do to basically <laughs> that's on the exam. That was on my exam today. Oh, shit. Today I can't say that because the AMC will sue us. Oopsie. Well, whatever. But yes, lots of preparation needed for this. Okay. So you said you studied for a, a long time yeah, yeah. in, in uh, preparation for this test. Uh, what materials did you use to study? So, you know, like, those books that they give out are just not cool because there's just so much stuff in them, so many pages, it's like really fucking annoying. So I personally studied all of Mercy's voice lines and how her, basically her rotation during a comp match. What was really interesting is that a lot of her voice lines basically are what's on the MCAT. Like, heroes never die. Like, I'm a hero and I died during the exam and just medicine because the MCAT's the medicine test. Inspirational. I actually have one of the quotes he used for studying right here, so uh, take a listen. The enemy teleporter is here! So, Daniel, mm. how does this quote in particular help you in the medical field? So, when insurance companies come to take your money away, um, they're so advanced that they use teleporters and they teleport into hospitals and steal money from doctors. That's mm -hmm. terrible. So, Mercy's quote right there, while it is actually a command in the game to notify of Symmetra's portals, yep. you know, it's actually a real-life term that we have to use in the medical field. We have to know when these insurance company people are in our hospital. And we gotta know immediately. So we have to tell them, enemy teleporter here. They know the enemy is the insurance company and... Yeah. I see, I see. Okay. Okay, this next question, I, I don't know why is a most asked question for medical students, but uh... What's blue and smells like red paint? Um, oxycodone. And the reason is, is that the ketone groups involved in oxycodone, which are really interesting. Let me pull up a structure right now that I'm going to slap on the screen right now. See it? Right yeah. There? yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. So, if you notice that those groups right there, pretty interesting. Um, you know, sure, you can call it blue because there are, there are four rings, B, L, U, and E. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it's red all over because that N, nitrogen group. <laughs> that red. <laughs> Keep going. We'll bring it cut up. <laughs> okay, okay. Number six. <laughs> so, that, that the, the nitrogen group, it's really interesting because the, it's red because... <coughs> the electrons were deep. <laughs> Seven. <Ugh. laughs> so the electrons reduce the entire system because it's conjugate. <laughs> hey. So it's very interesting because the electrons, you know, really conjugate. Fuck. <laughs> so yeah, it's really interesting how electrons do this the reduction. Potentials. I mean, it's just incredible how the magic of chemistry works. Sorry, that is not the correct answer. The correct answer is blue paint. Okay. Okay, Daniel, we're getting to the end of our little interview, so I'm going to go into our, our super, super amazing, amazing rapid-fire rapid fire question, question mode. mode. Yay! 
Are you ready? Maybe. Nice. Okay. First question. Penicillin, okay or not? Potato. Okay. Uh, vaccines, autism or no? Um, uh, Tourette's. Nice. Uh, ducks, real or not? Uh, Quaker Jack. Good one. Blue, favorite color? Uh, green. Yes. And uh, that's going to be concluding our, our super, super amazing, amazing rapid-fire rapid question, fire question round. round. Okay, Daniel. For our last question, we're going to be asking you a question from the MCATs. Uh... Okay. So, a mixture of three gases has a pressure of 1,380 millimeters mercury at 298 Kelvin. The mixture is analyzed and is found to contain 1.27 mole carbon dioxide, 3.04 mole carbon monoxide, and 1.50 mole argon. What is the partial pressure of argon? <laughs> you are but a small child, Liam. <laughs> the answer is obviously... 420 millimeters high. Oh, okay. We're going to end the interview right now. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this interview. I know I didn't, but if you guys did, like this video, uh, subscribe if you want more, comment if you want more, and uh, yeah, thank you, Daniel, for doing this interview with me. Yo. Okay. Uh, and uh, if you guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.